Hey, this is Ray from the Podcaster Studio at thepodcasterstudio.com with another video tutorial using WordPress to create an RSS feed for your podcast. All right, so if you see here on the screen, we have a really basic WordPress site. And I kind of say that WordPress acts like a WYSIWYG. What you see is what you get editor for RSS feeds because it really is what you see is what you get. So what we're going to do is create a feed for a specific podcast. We can have as many feeds for as many podcasts as we want on any given WordPress site. And then when you put stuff in that feed, it'll appear into the feed and get processed through FeedBurner, which I will show you how to do. And then you can deliver it out to places like iTunes, uh, Miro Player, or Zoom. So what you put in that feed right here on WordPress is what will come out on the other side, say, on iTunes. So that is the what you see is what you get part. And if you've ever used something like Dreamweaver to build a website or Squarespace, those type of sites, they allow you to shift things around on the page and you don't have to know any coding in order to create a website. And that's kind of what we're doing here today. So we're going to create you a podcast feed. Now I am here on wordpress.com, as you can see up here. And I'm using that because, well, it's a, a little test site for me that I can do these screen tutorials while with. And as well, it doesn't exclude anyone. This includes everyone. So if you are trying to get a free solution, this will work for you. You can do wordpress.com totally for free, and it will work for what we are doing here today. As well as if you have your own installation of WordPress, which is sort of the next level up in uh, complexity, if you want to say. If you have your own WordPress.org install on your own hosting service, a website that you pay for, then this tutorial will be similar in that we're going to create a category and turn that into our feed. And the only difference will be some subtleties that if you already have installed WordPress for yourself on your own site, you'll easily be able to figure out. So we're using WordPress.com in this example. Anyone can go there and create a free account. In fact, I encourage you to because one of the plugins or one of the things that we're going to use and you're going to use no matter what if you're using WordPress is a spam blocker, a really good one that is native to WordPress, one that they give you. And you need a WordPress.com account. So it's just a good thing to have. All right. So if let me remind you, if I go too fast in this tutorial, uh, the beauty of this stuff is you can pause and or rewind. So break out the uh, pen and pad or just pause and take this step by step. But I'm going to go a little, I'm going to try to go a little fast here so we can get through this and not make the video too long and get through the content that we want to. So as you can see, this is a really basic site. It's just a example of a site that I set up for myself. This is the, actually the most basic WordPress.com template, except that I've inserted my own header image. And that's really it. Otherwise, it is the pure basics of a WordPress.com site. So this is kind of what you'll be starting out with if you use WordPress.com to host some of your content or build your blog on and then feed your podcast. And the good thing about this method is no matter what, when you decide to change your blogging software, if you go to your own self hosted version of WordPress, the feed will go with you and you won't lose any of your subscribers. So that's the important part about this is it's easy, it's manageable, and it will grow with you as you move from place to place. Because if you do this long enough, you'll definitely end up moving in order to gain more control over your content. So I've set up a basic post here and you can see it's a it's a mock episode. It is an actual episode I did of my show, but for this purpose, it's a mock episode. And it's of the Podcaster Studio podcast. That is my show about podcasting. And we have episode 39, which is about audio editing, but it's about a lot of things. So you can see here we have the player that gets installed when you put in the right link. Uh, to an mp3 file and this is a really nice feature wordpress.com and it's the one pixel out player from uh, you can go to one pixel out.net for the plugin for your site if you have your own install of wordpress if you're on wordpress.com it's built in so if i press this virtual cart machines and analytics that's just a sample it just opens up and it plays 
and it's very clean and very nice. Okay, so I've got some basic text here, and I've got some image art, and uh, what I will show you here is if you go up into the browser, and it says RSS. Now, I will tell you I'm using Safari browser for this example, and there's one or two things different about the Safari browser. In some browsers, this RSS icon will be different, but most of the time you can find your RSS icon up here in the browser bar, and we'll click on RSS. So you'll see that we have the Podcaster Studio feed, which is what I'm calling the main feed or the all-inclusive feed, and you have the comments feed. So if we go ahead and look at the main feed, you'll see that Safari will render this and it'll pull up this, what you're seeing on the page right now. So what you're seeing is the podcast episode that we that I created this podcaster studio episode 39 audio editing and you're also seeing a just a plain text blog post here below the podcast post so this is the main feed again uh, the all-inclusive feed everything that you post to your site is going to be in this feed and you can see here it is well see Safari puts feed instead of HTTP instead of this HTTP, which is standard, which is actually your real feed, but Safari renders it with the feed prefix, and that's what you're seeing there. So don't worry too much about that. I'll, I'll tell you more about that when we get to our actual feed, the feed address that you're gonna be looking for. So if we just go back to the main site here, again, we're on the front page. This is what they call the blog page. This is where everything you post on your website is going to show up. So again, we have the sample episode and we have the sample blog post. And you can click these and they stand alone on their own page by themselves. Go back to the main page here. And the difference here now is that we have the main feed and then we have a category feed and that is what we're going to be using to build our podcast. So if you look over here on the right hand side, you'll see categories and there's a news only feed and there's the podcaster studio podcast category. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that and it takes us to another page. Up here we have the podcast helper WordPress category, the podcaster studio podcast. So that is the category for this feed or this is the category that I've created on wordpress.com and I'm going to show you how to create a category because this is what's going to act as the engine of our feed. This is where all the stuff that we're going to create for a podcast is going to end up. So you can see in this feed instead of having the podcast and the blog post it has just the podcast and that's what we want. Okay, so if we go up to back to the RSS and we look at there and we click, we get Podcaster Studio feed. There's the main feed. We have the comments feed again. And below it, and we now have a link to the Podcaster Studio podcast category feed. If we click that, you'll see that again, only the podcast episode, complete with MP3 link down here, is in this feed. So it's only getting the podcast it's not getting the text blog as well and that's what we want to do we want to create a feed that has only podcast for a very specific show you can have again you could have five different shows on this one page on your one WordPress page and have five different categories but you want to be able to subscribe to each individual podcast and that's what creating an individual category will do and allow you to create a feed for just each individual podcast. So what we'll do next here is we'll log, we'll scroll down and we will log into our WordPress. So basically you've already created a WordPress account and then I'm gonna click the site administration and this is the back end of WordPress.com. And again, what's nice about learning WordPress.com, when you're ready to move to your own installation of WordPress, when you pay for your own site, and you get your own installation of WordPress, which allows you to add in a lot more functionality to your site, to your website. It really allows you to grow and really do anything you want. WordPress.com is limited in what you can do, but it works for our purposes here, and it works to get you started with your podcast. But this is the back end. It's the same for WordPress.com as it is WordPress.org, which is your own installation. And learning this will make the transition really easy because it looks the same. 
So we've logged in and the next thing we want to do is basically create a new post for a, say, a new podcast episode. So what we're going to do here is go to posts. And um, actually what we're going to do is create a category first. So we already have the Podcaster Studio uh, podcast feed as I showed you before. And now we're going to create a whole new feed for a whole new podcast. And this is what you would do to create a feed for your podcast using WordPress. So we go to the post section as I just clicked on and we go over here to categories. And we click on categories and we enter a new name for our new category. So this is going to be podcast quick tips, which is another podcast of mine. So I'll call this podcast quick tips podcast. And I'll leave the description blank and the parent is none because it's going to be its own feed. And we simply click on add a new category. And there we go. We have podcast quick tips podcast it has its own feed and nothing will show up on the front page so we've created it but we'll go back to the front page nothing shows up here in your category section yet because you haven't published anything into that category so that's the next step we'll go ahead and publish something into that category so we'll go back into the back in into the site administration and we will go now we'll create our new post okay so we'll go back to post and normally you would click add new and create a new post but since I already have a post drafted for this tutorial we will just go to that so it's just like we created a new post here and we gave it a title podcast quick tips submitting your podcast to iTunes and we've inserted a link to our audio and you can go to the tutorials page on the podcasterstudio.com to see more about how to make this player appear but it's a simple audio tag and there is a whole tutorial on the podcasterstudio.com about how to do this with wordpress.com as well as how to do it with your own installation of wordpress and the one pixel out player plugin and i've added some show art here it's very important to have your little your, your graphic there because it's sort of your identity and lets people find you easily on their mp3 player and i've just put some text some basic text here to explain what this is about. So this is your typical post that you would make after you record your podcast and you uploaded it to your host, say Libsyn. You have to have a place to host your MP3 files. You don't want to host them here. Uh, they don't give you enough space to do it for a podcast and it can be expensive hosting on your own server. So Libsyn is really a great place to go. That's L-I-B-S-Y-N dot com and they have great affordable plans for hosting your podcast. So we have created a simple post and basically what we will do is make sure that after we've written it up and put our title and put our audio in that we select the category that we created so if you come over here to categories you'll see and right now it's uncategorized so I'm actually going to uncheck that I don't need it to be an uncategorized and we have podcast quick tips podcast and the podcaster studio podcast now obviously this is podcast quick tips we want it to go only into that category or that feed so it's very critical that you place it in one of the categories so that it actually goes into that feed all right so we've placed the uh, check mark the check mark in the box there and that's pretty much it after that we can select the category and go ahead and just publish so we are now publishing our most recent podcast episode which is the podcast quick tips into our podcast quick tips category and we can just go back here to our front page all right and you can see there it is the newest thing on our site is podcast quick tips submitting your podcast to iTunes and actually play this here the podcaster studio presents podcast quick tips at pod all right so we know it's working and it's playing our episode and we've got our text and we've got our show art and now again we're on the front page so if we check the feed our main all-inclusive feed obviously is going to have everything in it and if you have five different shows here you can see I've got two different shows and a blog post 